cover story, the student debt crisis nationwide. It's a $1.6 trillion drag on the economy, but for a retired Glenview grandmother, it's a six-figure burden causing anxiety and certainly uncertainty. WGN's Mike Lowe reports on the problem and a potential solution. The year was 1986. The Chicago Bears won the Super Bowl. The space shuttle Challenger exploded. Mr. President, have you made any real progress, sir? The Cold War thawed. I would throw them out of the house. The Cosby Show topped the TV ratings. That's what friends are for. Stevie Wonder and Dionne Warwick recorded the year's biggest hit. And at Mundelein College, a 33-year-old single mother went back to school. So this is Mundelein, my bachelor's. Nancy Peter took out a $30,000 loan to finish her psychology degree. I'm hoping I'm going to get a good job and I'm going to make money and I'll do whatever I need to pay this back. Almost four decades later, she's still paying it back. And the interest compounds and compounds. So every penny I don't pay, it goes sky high. She took out another loan to go to grad school at Loyola and has worked as a therapist for nearly 40 years. But the now 71-year-old retired grandmother of two owes six figures, more than triple the initial amount of money she borrowed. It's just about $108,000. Describe how that can happen. <laughs> um, I have been in... What they allow you to do is they have a program called an income-driven repayment plan. That's a plan that allows a borrower to pay what they can based on how much money they make. Sometimes the payments are so low they don't even cover the interest that's accruing, meaning the money owed is increasing even as the borrowers are making payments. Nancy Peter went into forbearance on the loan because of health issues, meaning she had permission to temporarily pause payments, but the interest kept building. That happens all the time, and I think it's really important for borrowers to understand that when you take out loans, pretty much any type of private loan or federal student loan, interest usually starts to accrue immediately. Chicago student loan attorney Ray Kaplan is calculating potential debt relief for clients in her downtown office. So as soon as the loan is dispersed, it starts accruing interest, so that balance starts to grow. And by the time the loan is in repayment status, and if you come in and out of forbearance, all that time that loan balance is growing. It's also a growing problem. According to the U.S. Department of Education, 43 million Americans owe a collective $1.3 trillion in student loan debt. The average borrower owes $37,000. This will sound terrible. This will sound terrible. But I have a paper of different ways that you can have your loan forgiven. And the only one I fit into was that I would have to die. But President Joe Biden has made student loan forgiveness a top priority in his administration. While a college degree is still a ticket to a better life, that ticket is too expensive. Last year, the U.S. Supreme Court struck down the administration's plan to forgive hundreds of billions of dollars in student loan debt. But through executive orders, he implemented the Saving on a Valuable Education, or the SAVE plan, which will drastically cut monthly payments for eligible borrowers who have made at least 10 years of payments take in federal loans of $12,000 or less for college, and those with higher balances or consolidated loans may be eligible for forgiveness too. So far, more than 7 million people have enrolled in the program. It forgives balances sooner. Syndicated personal finance columnist Terry Savage says eligible borrowers could save thousands of dollars if they enroll. It stops interest from growing on your unpaid balance. That's what's been building up this snowball of debt. For Nancy Peter, the SAVE plan could be a lifeline. She reached out to Kaplan for help, a step long delayed because of the shame associated with financial hardship. It's humiliating, you know. Um, it's such a private thing that if somebody knew I owed this kind of money, they would look at me in a whole different way. Why did you want to share your story? Because I needed help, and if I need help, there's a lot of other people that need help. And if even one person comes out of this getting some help, then it makes it worth it to me. Mike Lowe, WGN News. Very revealing. Yeah.